This video will do lesson two, rapid multiplication by direct method, part five, checking the answer. With this video, we finish our lesson two. That's coming up. Let's say we have to check the answer. If we have done it, done the sum correctly or not. To check them, first we we need to learn how to get the digit sum. Of a number. Let's say the number is four hundred and thirteen. You just add its digits four plus one plus three, and four plus one is five plus three is eight. That's the digit sum of four hundred and thirteen. Let's say it's six three two four. Now six plus three plus two plus four. Six plus three is nine plus two is eleven plus four is fifteen, and this fifteen again is one plus five. That makes it six. Digit sum means the single digit, unless it's when when your answer is in two digits, like fifteen. You again add the digits and make it one digit. So six is the digit sum of six thousand three hundred and twenty-four. So there is a there is a A shortcut in that how to get the digit sum immediately, but first let's say we have already multiplied two hundred and four by thirty one, and our answer is six thousand three hundred and twenty four, and we want to know if we have done it correctly or not. So first we have to get the digit sum of two hundred and four. Two plus zero plus four is six. We know that. Okay, here I'll write six digit sum of two zero four, and then digit sum of thirty one is three plus one, that is four. Now, when I multiply two hundred and four by thirty one, our answer is six three two four. Now, if I multiply their digit sum, six times four is twenty four, and digit sum of twenty four is two plus four six, and we know the digit sum of Six three two four is six. If they match, it means we have done the multiplication correctly. Now, let me tell you a little shortcut of how to get the digit sum right away. Let me erase this. And this. Okay. First thing is you just cast out nines. Like if you have, if you have two five two three one one, that's the number, and you want the digit sum. Two plus five is seven. Plus two is nine. Two plus five is seven. Then plus two is nine. Plus three is twelve. So this twelve you will again add one plus two. In twelve you will add one plus two. It will become three. So three plus one is four plus one is five. So digit sum will be five instead of adding all of them and then making it five. Like that you have to. Now this is nine by itself plus three will make it twelve. That twelve will again add one and two to make it three. And then this three plus these two, this and this will make it five. I I hope I didn't confuse you. And the second second thing is whenever you complete nine, just cast out nines. Like if you have nine thousand three hundred and ninety nine, this nine, this nine, this nine doesn't matter. Your digit sum is three. So whenever you have completed nine, just cast it out. Let's say eighty-one thousand nine hundred and ninety-four. When you add eight plus one, eight plus one is nine. So cast out that nine, cast out this nine, cast cast out this nine. Your digit sum is four. We could have done the same thing here. This two plus this five is seven plus this two is nine. So we cast out that nine, and then we have three plus one plus one. Three plus one is four plus one is five again. We got five. So this is a little. Easier way of getting the digit sum right away, and this was just uh, you can say 
a little extra thing in that chapter and this uh, digit sum checking of the answer will uh, uh, it, it's useful in the coming lessons we'll finish our video here people if you are struggling with numbers or mathematics then this youtube channel is for you and if you are good with numbers then this channel is specially for you because you can help others have fun with numbers